you've got your running bucket list for what? Splash pads, parks, road trips. We thought, why not start one for the food you'll eat along the way? My next guest is rolling out a summer food bucket list, carefully crafted and loaded with the best local spots to try and ideas to try before the summer is over. Chelsea Fairborn is here with her top summer food essentials for us. I feel the need as a re resident pregnant woman to say this was not my idea, but I fully endorse <laughs> it. <laughs> That's because summer has amazing food and it's all the cravings, right? Yeah. And especially you've got your fresh produce, your fresh fruits, and then like the ooey gooey chocolate s'mores. So, and they're, and they're wrapped up in so much nostalgia too. I think that's what was so fun putting this together is hamburgers, hot dogs, like so many normal foods yeah. wrapped up into our memories. And then you get to just pick some fun new things to try along the way. Amen, sister. You described it so well. <laughs> I'm taking this on though as personal assignment. Okay, I can't wait. This is not a just for fun challenge. This is get it this done, people. This is serious. Your food summer bucket list. Um, sweet to savory ratio on this uh, list? Definitely sweet. More sweet. It swings yeah. more sweet. And I think that's partially because of the fruit pool that more mm. fresh fruit is going to swing more sweet. We're gonna work through your list based on time sensitivity, like how long the food will be around. Yes. First is Taco Amigo strawberry shakes. I could die for Taco Amigo <laughs> strawberry shakes. Here it comes. And their peach shakes, technically. Those yeah. come a little later in the season. But strawberry shakes, I mean, you're catching strawberry season, and so it's super fresh, really easy to get. And you know what? If you get one a day, it's okay. <laughs> That's fine. It's fruit. And it, so this is one that you're going to want to pounce on pretty much immediately um, well, as we're rounding out strawberry season. But if you do miss it, peach season is just as good. All right. Speaking of peach season, the peach lemonade at Chick-fil-A, yes. pretty darn good too. It is so good. And their peach season is apparently different than the rest of our peach seasons. But we're not mad about it no. because it's starting now. And so run over to Chick-fil-A. Hit the drive through get your peach lemonade, and you can also have it frozen if you prefer that because we need to be dynamic. Oh, the frosted. The frosted, yes. Because Frost we need to be dynamic. Yes, yes. that's you, why. Well, it's easier to justify. You can have a lemonade one day, and then you can have a frozen one the next day, and it's like... One's a drink and one's a treat. We are dynamic You can have dames. two in the same yes. sitting if you really want it. All right, this next one isn't time sensitive per se, but you want to carve out plenty of time to get and see and taste exactly what you like. Yes, so this is farmer's market, mm. right? So you can go pretty much wherever is central and locate, centrally located for you. I picked the downtown farmer's market in Salt Lake. They've got so many options and this is where the fresh produce really shines. So you're going to find all of your, those fruits and veggies that are in season, corn. Corn is a big one for me. I love corn on the cob. Yes go to the farmer's market. You're going to find the best pricing there, the freshest, naturally or locally sourced, all natural ingredients, all of that. So it's a, it's a good one. You mentioned the nostalgic, more traditional foods of summer. We've got to talk burgers and uh, dogs. Burgers and dogs are essentials. They are the lifeblood of summer, if you will. So for burgers, we're going to go to High Mountain Drug. This is a favorite for me up in Camas. I have heard so much about I, well, this. Well, yeah, it's my TED talk. Okay. Like, go to <laughs> High Mountain Drug <laughs> in Camas because it's kind of old school pharmacy style. They've got burgers. As I said that, I'm like, I've heard so much yeah, about this from me. you. I'm the problem or the help in this case. Uh -huh. um, they've got like your root, root beer floats or any soda floats. They've got milkshakes. It's close if you want to go hiking so you can grab that burger and hike. We're just, again, dynamic with how we're consuming these foods. Look at those floats, like over the rim. Yes, and they're so good, because I think of root beer, too, during the summer. Oh, like yeah. That fresh homemade root beer. Frosted mugs. Yes, exactly. All right, J-Dogs for hot dogs. J-Dogs is an essential. Yeah. And what's great about them, like, I, I can make a good hot dog, but I can't make it better than J-Dogs, in my opinion, or for my taste buds. So you can go and grab it to go. If you have a party that you're catering for ahead of the 4th of July or anything like that, you can get bulk from them so that you don't have to do the grilling and you can just savor the goodness of J-Dogs and all the toppings and um, they take care of it for you. So I love a J-Dog. I'm about to ready to make a shocking confession. Oh no. UIU alum speaking. <gasps> I've never had a J-Dog. I've never had a J-Dog. Okay, so we're going to prioritize highlight star <laughs> underline on I your know. on your to-do list. I'm sorry. Your bucket list of some. I love hot dogs too is the I'm thing. Gonna, I'm gonna hold you accountable. How did that happen? How did I live I, in Provo for five years? I feel like I don't even know you. I'm sorry. At this point. Let's still be friends. Let's <laughs> bond over watermelon. You've got a watermelon salad you want us to try. Yes, at Lola's on 9th and 9th in Salt Lake. So this is just a fresh melon salad. They've got the essentials pulling in all the fun summer ingredients. This is a great spot in general, and they have a, a pretty summer patio that you can sit out on, really savor the environment. Plus, um, they've got the watermelon version, and they have a, a salad that's cantaloupe based too, if you prefer that. Um, to get your melon fix, but find. I love melon. And so anytime you can pair that with something else, it's like a productive meal or call it a meal. 
Done. Great find. Uh, heading up north next to stop by an Italian ice truck. Oh, I love Italian ice and I love snow cones and all the things. I also love custard, which makes this the perfect spot because Carrie Ann's is an Italian ice truck and they, they're known for their gelati. And what's great is that means it's a, like a snow cone, Italian ice situation, custard sandwich. So my dream, both, <laughs> both of them in one. And Dreams you, come true. Exactly. So you're going to have, um, you can customize your flavors. You can customize the custard. You can get just straight Italian ice. You can get straight custard. Yes. Layer. Um, they do it all. Carrie Ann needs fairy wings because she is Chelsea's dream maker. That Truly. does look amazing. It looks amazing. We've got seven checked off the list. You've got a couple more for us. Yes. When we come back, we will round out the rest of Chelsea's summer eats bucket list. Don't go away. Out of fun with our friend Chelsea Fairborn. We are ready to pick up our summer food bucket list exactly where we left it. Um, gotta have room for fair food. Yeah, absolutely. On a funnel this list. cake? That should be start. Have you had a funnel cake? Yes, I have. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you to qualify this. Oh my every gosh, time. now I'm on the hot seat. Chelsea's <sighs> upset because before the commercial break, I confessed I hadn't had a. I, I love hot dogs, I've just never had a J Dog. Now Crazy. everyone's mad at me about it, but I've had funnel cake. Okay, perfect. So funnel cakes, Brooks checked it off. Now all of you can check it off. Um, the, and any local fair is probably going to have them. I love them at the state fair. So this is end of season. If this can be the last thing on your, on your bucket list, round it out with a funnel cake at the fair loaded with it strawberries and Nutella and whipped cream and all of these And specials. that's one of those things you'll never have at home. Like you've no, got to you go. can try, but it's not going to be good. No. Yeah. So don't, look at that. don't kid yourself. I've tried it. It doesn't turn out well. Right. Heading north after that for raspberry days. Oh, I love raspberry days and I love the raspberry shakes. So we're, there's a theme here that we're playing off of in season and that's, that's going to affect the timing. So early August is when you're going to want to head to Bear Lake. I love LeBeau's for their raspberry shake. Classic. Classic. Um, and somewhere up in Bear Lake, I actually need to do more investigative journalism on this. You can get chocolate covered raspberries so they're just bite-sized oh. but this is I didn't do my job to fully equip you with the knowledge to do that but rumor mill, rumor mill there are those in existence in Bear Lake so you'll have them. to report back yes the chocolate covered raspberries the assignment and continues okay next on your studio five summer food bucket list is sort of an elevated snow cone yes and I might slaughter the name of this I think it's Zing Fu Tang okay and it's Bada Bing Su style so it's um, like shaved shaved milk snow cones. Oh. It's a really interesting concept if you haven't tried oh. it, but they melt in your mouth, but it, when, when it's presented, it's almost like flaky, so it looks like coconut flakes. Okay. But then you put it in, melts, and you can top it with sweetened condensed milk, mangoes, whipped cream. It is so good. Look I first that. tried a variation of this in Hawaii, um, and it's a Japanese dessert, so that kind of makes sense. And then this is the, the first rendition of it here in Utah, and it is so good. It's in Salt Lake. It is worth the trip, and that is a very shareable elevated snow cone, if you will. Um, that looks amazing. Yes, it is quite tasty. Okay, finally, this is a make at home. If I, a make -at -home. If I read right, you're wanting us to up our s'more game with a croissant. Yes, I saw this on TikTok and since have made it my personality. <laughs> I <laughs> love croissants and I love the essentials for s'mores, but I'm not like a crumbly cookie person. I'm not a graham cracker girl for s'mores. So when I saw people combining a croissant with the marshmallow and chocolate, chef's kiss. Done. It's so good. And it's... So this definitely caters if you love the ooey gooey and it's a little less messy too because it's not all crumbling all over you. I think that's part of my issue. Chelsea, this is so fun. Reviewing our list one more time. We've got the strawberry shake from Taco Amigo, peach lemonade from Chick-fil-A. Be sure to check out a farmer's market near you and get that fresh produce and fresh food. We need a burger from High Mountain Drug. I definitely need a few J-Dogs this summer. Gonna repent of my ways there. Lola's watermelon salad, Carrie Ann's Italian ice. We've got the Days of 47 funnel cake. We've got the Bear Lake raspberry days and the croissant s'mores. Good job, well done. Thank you. Well yeah. done. Thank you. You have set us up so well. You can go to our website to print it off if you do wanna play along <laughs> and collect food along your summer way. In the meantime, where can we get more recommendations from you? Your girl needs food on Instagram. Because your girl needs food. You should be following her. If not, give her a follow. We'll link you there as well. Happy summer. Thank you. Happy summer. Thank, Thank you, you so much.